I got an interesting malfunction and trigger failure on this TSOS 1911 carry double stack. I figured I would make a video about it because the cause of the failure was pretty hard for me to track down. It was not obvious and it's something I haven't seen before. Every single shot, the trigger would stick to the rear and not reset. I'll replicate the failure for you here. Nothing, okay? So I can go like that and reset it. Nothing. With the magazine in, an interesting thing happens. Trigger didn't reset. Can't release the magazine. There's your first hint. Another thing that was confusing about this is that it only does it if you rack the slide really hard or when you're shooting it. And so I set the trigger on this and I was doing this and going, oh yeah. My trigger job feels good, cool, take it to the range, let's go. As soon as I started shooting it uh, and the slide was getting slammed to the rear a little bit more, that trigger started freezing towards the back. So initially uh, I installed this staccato trigger fit it to the grip module and polish the ignition components, uh, set the trigger at four pounds. It was good, it felt nice, um, but there was still a little bit more creep than I liked and this is not a defensive pistol for me so I wanted to drop the trigger pull weight a little bit for range use. So I recut the sear primary and secondary angles, I adjusted my sear spring, got the trigger down to three and a half pounds, and then I also, here's your second hint, adjusted a little bit of over travel out of it. Uh, I still had some more room to take over travel out and shorten up that reset. So I get it home, tear it completely down, take, you know, a uh, sear disconnector, hammer, everything out of the frame and I'm expecting to find a grit or something, you know, preventing the disconnector from sliding freely or preventing the sear from pivoting freely. Maybe with my sear spring I didn't adjust the middle tang far enough forward so it wasn't giving me a positive enough reset. But I didn't think that was it because it's sticking to the rear so forcefully that it's actually hard to like pull out. I completely tear this thing down, look at some components, clean everything out, uh, you know, look for burrs, roughness, there's nothing. Put it back together, failure keeps happening. Tear it all down again and pull the whole grip module off, pull the mag release out, pull the trigger out, make sure the trigger's sliding freely in the grip module and the frame and all that, and yes, it's fine. Put it back together. I decide to go ahead and test for this failure without the magazine release in there, and lo and behold, I don't get the failure. I had a hex key with me at the range and I adjusted the over travel screw, but it didn't fix it. So after I had the magazine release out of there and figured out that it didn't have the failure, I put the magazine release back in. I adjusted my over travel screw out about a turn and a half. Hey. It's gone. I'll uh, adjust my over travel screw back in a little bit. Did you hear that second click? Trigger pulled. Little extra. So let me show you what's happening. When I uh, adjusted more over travel out of the trigger, the over travel screw was protruding from the rear of the trigger shoe and it was getting stuck in this little semicircular cutout in the magazine release here. I've never seen this before. I've not seen a mag catch cut like this. Let's quickly take a look at this TSOS magazine release uh, compared to some standard 1911 and 2011 mag releases. You can see it has this long channel here. This is the half circle cutout that was causing issues with the uh, trigger over travel screw. And the little release latch is all the way here towards the center. That's not standard. Here's some standard 1911 magazine releases. And here's a standard 2011 magazine release. You can see that the latch mechanism is clear out here towards the end and there's no channel that goes all the way into the center. Right here, there is no groove inside there to accept a standard magazine release. You can see here 
on this Prodigy Grip module, the groove right there for accepting a standard 2011 mag release. So the factory TSOS mag release causes issues with trigger over travel screws and you cannot replace it with a standard 2011 mag catch. So the fix is simple. You just adjust the over travel screw out a little bit. <laughs> Not very much over travel on the reset, still pretty short, so not a huge deal. All right, that's the end of this video. Uh, I hope this was um, useful or helpful or interesting. I haven't seen this failure before. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've seen anything like this. And I guess if you want to replace the trigger on your t sauce and have an over travel adjustment screw, you're gonna be limited how much you can adjust it. And if you want to replace the magazine catch, you won't be able to.